Hi guys and welcome to another kit review. So today as you can see we're doing something slightly different from the usual 135th, 148th scale kits. Today we're having a look at a kit in 116th scale and as you can see it is ICM's Roman Centurion 1st Century. Kit number 16302. Now this kit came out in 2020 so it is very new. Nicely detailed, beautiful artwork, and uh, being a fan of history, ancient history, modern history, when this one came up and it was only around $32 Australian, normal retail price is around uh, $45. I just couldn't resist picking this one up, and I'm really, really happy with it. So it is just a single figure of the Centurion. Um, Really nice artwork, and from the look of it, it looks like he's in the Tutorberg Forest. Poor bastard. He doesn't know what he's in for. Or, in fact, maybe he does. All right, so that's the artwork. Really, really nice. Let's have a look at the rest of the box. It is ICM's standard solid box. Not much else to see on the sides. All right, fairly straightforward. The detail is in the cover art. So, let's open her up and find out. So, standard ICM solid box. You do get one bag of sprues. You do get a stand for this. Fairly straightforward, as you can see. It is just a single figure, but really nicely detailed. I can even see that from here. You do get... And then what sprue layout and the instruction sheet so it is quite a complex instruction sheet for all these um, color call outs and part numbers etc so it does look complex it isn't really this is basically telling you if he's going to have this the sword in his hand you need to cut the hilt off all right the uh, colour callouts are for Ravel and Tamiya only, but of course you'd use your own preferred. And you do get this A4 poster of the box art. Now that is beautiful and that is definitely worth framing and sticking up on your wall. Right? That is really, really nice. So, that's what's in the box. Give me a chance to open up the sprues. And then we'll have a look at those. So let's have a look at the sprues. So you only get three sprues. The base. This smaller one, which is of course the shield, the helmet, and the sword. And the main sprue, which is the figure itself. So let's have a look at, actually, we'll have a look at the stand first. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward, bottom, top. If you wanted to, you could leave the bottom off and use this as a mini diorama setting for a 135th scale figure or something similar to that. So that is an option. There's no real reason why you need to put the bottom on this one. So that's the stand. Next, we'll have a look at this one here. This is the small one. This is, of course, his shield, which is called Scutum. His helmet, which is the Gallia. This is his Gladius. That's his main sword. And this is his Pugio, which is his little dagger. So let's have a closer look. So naturally enough, if he's holding the sword, you need to cut that off because naturally there won't be any sword in there if he's holding it. Let's have a look at the detail. There is some really, really beautiful detail on this. Not sure if you can pick it up. I will give you stills, of course, as usual, but that's really nice, fine work on there. 
I do love the sword. There's a little bit of cleanup along the mold line. There is his helmet. Unfortunately, it's split in the middle, so you will have a join that needs to be dealt with. This is his brow and his neck and cheek pieces for the helmet. There is the shield. So you don't get a decal for the shield. So you will have to paint. It has been etched on, but you will have to very, very carefully paint in the detail on that shield. It does have detail on the back. Not much. That's just reinforcing. Roman shields were basically uh, plywood or built in the same way as plywood is. These are the crests, I believe, for the figure. Let me grab the instructions. Yes, they're the, those parts there. Now you not, might notice this centurion is wearing his crest sideways. That's how centurions wore them. Your normal legionary soldier wore it back to front, but centurions, to mark them out, wore them side to side. So that is quite correct on that one. So let's have a look. This has some very fine detail. This is just the base of the crest, by the way, the main mount, and it is quite nicely done on there. So that's beautiful. I do like that. I do like the detail on the helmet and the shield will be a challenge to paint, but not impossible. So that's beautiful all around. Detail on this is pretty awesome. So the next sprue we'll have a look at, of course, is the main sprue, which is the figure. As you can see, you do have separate upper and lower body halves, legs, arms. That's his face, of course. You do have some separate hands and additional plates, etc. for the armor. So let's have a look at his face first. And it's really nicely detailed, including the ears. So that is quite nice. I do like that. This is a separate hand. Let's see if I can get that in focus for you. It does have some really nice fine detail on the, cl on the cuff. So uh, ICM has put a lot of effort into detailing this kit. That is his sleeve. This is his armour. And this is the Lorica Squamata, standard um, scale armor for centurions. The usual armor you see on uh, Roman legionaries, the uh, Lorica Segmentata. That's for your common soldier, mostly wore that. That was in favor, I think they used that right up until the third, possibly even the beginning of the fourth century AD but this is your normal centurion's armor and it does have some really nice fine detail on the belt plates I do love that that of course is his crest again separate fingers there's a little bit of flash on this but not too much cleanup there is his tunic skirt the legs, so as you can see, the legs are one piece, but they do have a mold line down the middle, so you will have to clean it up. But the detail, let's see if I can get the detail up, even to where they're mounted here, there is detail on that. Yes, he does have separate toes. Something else he also has is these separate plates that go on the front of his 
armor really nicely detailed and I do love that so this is a really beautifully detailed kit and I am actually looking forward to building this one so I will of course give you close-ups of all this but um, I am impressed with the detail that ICM has put into this kit So, I am impressed. The detail on all of these parts, including his Gladius and his Scutum, everything is absolutely perfect. So, that brings us to the end of another review. That is ICM's Roman Centurion, 1st century. Kit number 16302, came out in 2020. It's a really beautiful kit. Anyone interested in history, I definitely recommend you see if you can pick one of these up. Um, even if you don't paint figures, this is worth having a go at. So, that brings us to the end of this one. As usual, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, your comments. Always appreciated. And, as usual... Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you later.